am coming at you with some tough love about setting boundaries. And the truth is, first off, if you are a nice guy, a people pleaser, I want you to understand that like it's not your fault. There's no shame in that. And, and embracing all the parts of you is vital to your healing. So this is not about shaming you or blaming you, but you do have to understand that if you are a people pleaser, you're making a choice. And when you want to stop people pleasing, you have to make the conscious decision that you're willing to accept the consequences that come along with living an authentic life. And that's easier said than done. I know, I know, I know. I've been there, done that, right? But you have to know that you are worth it and you cannot continue to spend time sacrificing your needs, sacrificing your mental health, your physical health for the needs of others. And when you are finally ready to accept responsibility for the consequences of those decisions, then you really start to turn your life around. When you know that I am worth it, I am worth making the sacrifice that needs to happen in order for me to step into who I'm truly meant to be. Because listen, the truth is, it's way easier to remain a victim and to to continue to do the same old, same old, same old. But listen, hard choices, easy life. Easy choices, hard life. So you have to remember that when I make the hard choices, I'm going to be willing and, and I know that I can handle. I have the confidence. I, I'm secure in who I am. I'm secure in who I am as a man to know that I can deal with those consequences and that I can accept whatever the blowback may be, whatever the rejection may be, whatever whatever the pushback may be. And that's really when your life turns around is when you stop living for others. Because here's the thing, the reason why you're the nice guy and you overdo for others and you put your own needs you know at the bottom of the list is because you have unhealed abandonment wounds that you really feel like deep down you don't matter that you're unlovable that you're unworthy so you're seeking worthiness from other people you're seeking that validation that acceptance you're afraid of rejection um you know, other people's opinions, other people's views of you matter than your own viewpoints about yourself. And so you're using other people to gain that validation. And when you've done the inner work and you know that your your needs matter, you matter, the decisions in your life are worth making the sacrifice for, then you step into a whole different power. Then you step into a whole different confidence. And the biggest myth about boundaries is that you you should just set boundaries and just follow through or just say no. Like that's like the dumbest thing. <laughs> like if it were that easy everyone could do it. But the truth is, we really can't follow through on those boundaries until we know internally deep down all the way down into our soul that we matter, that our needs matter. And when you've internalized that, then you can start communicating your boundaries. Until you've done that inner work, you really can't do the setting of the boundaries. So all the, the stuff that I hear about setting boundaries, it's, it's so out of whack. It's really not the first step. The first step is knowing authentically who you are. What are your values? And after divorce, you have to redefine yourself. I know, who am I? What do I want? What are my goals? What are my core values? That's really the first step. And then you have to, to, to identify that and then communicate them. And you have to communicate. Here's what my priority is. I mean, people who know me, they know that, that one of my big boundaries in life is, is time. I have very strict, firm time boundaries. 
how I spend my time, who I spend my time with, where I go with my time, because time is finite. You can't get that time back no matter what. The time with my kids, if I'm sacrificing time with my kids, it better damn well be worth it. So people know that about me. I communicate that. I tell my my networking group, you know, I tell them, yeah, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> you know, you guys need to schedule the 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 meetups, you know, during the, this time or that time or whatever. I let people know um, what my values are and they know that about me. They know that. And, and when people know that about, about you, they're very attracted to you. They're very, they see like what a strong, wow, that person knows who he is, what he stands for. He, he, he stands behind what he says. And that's really, really powerful. And you become a really, really powerful person. Trust me on this. So, so listen, so wait, so I did talk, you know, knowing yourself, communicating those boundaries, and then lastly is following through on those boundaries. And I see where some people kind of hem haw communicating their boundaries, and then they slide back. And that's generally the hardest part of, of following through. And listen, I've been there, you know, I've got the pushback myself. Well, why don't you do events at night? Well, because then I've sacrificed time with my children and no one shows up. So then I'm resentful and bitter and that doesn't work for me. So you have to be able to push back when, when, and say, no, I'm, I'm, this is my priority. I appreciate your feedback, but that doesn't work for me. Right. So the follow through is really where most people slip up in their boundaries because they're uncomfortable once they get the pushback. And so you have to stand firm in your belief and you have to be secure in yourself and secure in your values and secure in your priorities and know who you are so that when you get that pushback, you're okay with rejection. You're okay with not being liked. You're okay with people running your name in the mud all over the town. You're okay with, mm, go for it, have fun, you know? So it's standing in your power and, and being okay with whatever the consequences of the choices that you make are. Because people won't, won't like your choices. They won't agree with you. And you have to be powerful enough in yourself and love yourself and know that that's okay. That is okay. So listen, we are going to be talking about the three keys to finding inner peace and how to set boundaries in an authentic aligned way, even with a high conflict X. So join me. I've got a master class. If you want the details, you know, hashtag yes below. Can't wait to talk to you guys about it. So just let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Okay.